check it. All right, guys, what is up? In this video, I'm going to be exposing the truth. Why apes do not have a voice in the vote. How Adam Aaron sold us out. And I'm going to be showing you with the facts and the data. I'm going to be giving you all the news you need to know about this vote and getting you up to date on it and preparing you for the yes vote that is going to come. I don't want this thing to be a yes. I tell you why in the video, but I know it is and I explain why. So let's go ahead and get the charts, the facts, the data, and see what we have going on. What is up? You are back for another update for AMC and Ape. And in this video, I got to drop the truth on how apes do not have a voice in this vote. It is rigged. Adam Aaron sold us out once again. Again, now there are many reasons why I don't want this vote and why I think this vote should be a no. Most of the apes that I talk to want this vote to be a no, but it is voted against us. And the reasons why I don't want it to be a yes is because the reverse stock split is a penny stock move. And also the reverse stock split will change the QCIP number and that will erase the FTDs, helping the hedge funds out. Also, it gives AMC dilution. So there's a couple things that happen with this. There's going to be some dilution. Ape is converted to AMC, and that's why Ontario Capital and these hedge funds want it to go through so they can make a ton of money. Adam Aaron gets his dilution, and everybody's happy, and they all pat each other on the back. But if you look, Ontario Capital has their SEC filing for 2.32 million of its Ape shares, so they have a ton of Ape shares and AMC shares, and they are going to make money off the conversion, which retail can do as well. But we also get screwed in the end because of the dilution in the reverse stock split so this is all bad for us in my opinion i don't think we're going to see any price action because of it we might see some changing of position but the hedge funds really know what's going to happen it's all basically priced in so i don't think we're going to see much price action because of this march 14th vote like everyone's thinking and another reason we're not going to see much price action before it is because there is a hearing delaying the risk of that convergence there's a hedge fund suing amc saying hey you you can't do that. You can't convert AMC to Ape, especially selling it to the, the Ontario Capital and rigging the game like that. You can't do that. And so until April 27th, they can't do anything. So we are going to get the answer of the vote on March 14th, but we are not going to get any action until at least April 27th when the hearing comes to a conclusion. So we will see what happens on April 27th, but we will get the answer on March 14th. So that is another reason why I think we won't see any price action. But if you look at between Ontario Capital and the hedge funds themselves, so if you look at the institutional ownership for AMC, you can see that hedge funds have been buying and holding AMC since Q1 2021. So they have a ton of AMC as well. And you have to understand it's not like a 50-50 thing. They only need a 13 or 14% majority vote for this thing to go through and be voted yes and Adam Aaron wanted these shares and wanted that dilution so bad that he made sure that we couldn't say no this time because apes have voted down the dilution every single time he has asked and now he made sure there was a way that he could get it so Adam Aaron in my personal opinion is a snake he's a, a, he's not on our side he plays both sides he's also in some shady businesses and he always helps out his banker buddies I know that he runs the company well and he does good as a CEO and he does do things like that but he plays both sides and you guys have to understand that that's why why some apes like him because they can't see past the other things that he's doing behind the scenes or maybe they don't know I'm not saying that they're uneducated I'm just saying that maybe they don't know but he definitely does a lot of shady things like he did just now by rigging the conversion to AMC or ape to AMC and he did that by selling on Terra capital to 0.32 million shares of ape now they have enough shares to make sure that the vote goes through and they want the vote to go through because they're going to make a ton of money when the ape converts to amc so when you buy ape and it converts to amc it's going to convert to amc's price so you make all that money the difference in between there so ape is at like a dollar 50 right now and amc is at like five 
530, you make all of that difference in the profit. And that is exactly what Antara Capital plans to do. That's exactly what the hedge funds plan to do. That's why they want the vote to be a yes. Adam Aaron gets his dilution. That's why he wants the vote to be a yes. That's why he did all of this and rigged this whole game against the apes. And that is why the truth is the apes do not have a voice in this game in this vote and that is just the facts and the matter of facts of things hedge funds alone have enough ownership to sway the vote and i know that they say we own 90 percent of the float but you have to understand it's not a 50 50 thing they only need a 13 to 14 percent majority for this to be a yes so i am 99.9 percent .9 sure the vote is going to be a yes and you guys will see on march 14th that this will come to fruition the vote will be a yes but again we are not going to see any action from it why because of the delaying in the hearing so again until april 27th we will not see any action because the delaware court said they must hold a preliminary injunction so we are not going to see any action until april 27th and again we get the vote on march 14th and again i don't think we're going to see any great drastic price action, maybe some volatility, but that's about it. I don't think it's going to trigger the MOAS or anything like that, in my personal opinion. But guys, that is basically the video. I just wanted to expose how Adam Aaron sold out the apes, why we don't have a voice, and how Ontario Capital and Adam Aaron together rigged the AMC vote. So hopefully you found the video informative. I know I did. If you did, go ahead and drop a like. Subscribe for more content like this. And as always, have fun, stay safe, make money, peace out. All right, guys, that was the video. Thank you for watching to the end. I truly appreciate it if you did, if you see this message. And remember, apes, we do not have a voice in this vote. That is just a matter of facts. I'm sorry. This is just what it is. So it is going to be a yes vote. That is just my personal opinion. As far as price, I don't see it going too crazy. We might see some repositioning. But other than that, or some volatility, other than that, I really don't see it triggering the MOAS or anything like that. Especially with the delay to April 27th. But guys, as always, have fun. Stay safe. Make money. Peace out.